Underwater macro wet lenses are very popular because they make um, a lot of small and compact underwater camera systems a lot more versatile. In today's video, we'll be looking at one of these lenses, the Dive Fork Plus 15 Diopter Underwater Close-Up Lens. Coming up. <music> Hey there underwater filmmakers, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. As always, great to see you back here with us. Now today we'll be looking at the newest uh, addition to the dive fork lens lineup, the plus 15 diopter underwater close-up lens. Now, I was lucky enough to uh, be given this lens by Dive Fork a few weeks ago, just in time for me to take it onto my, um, my recent Maldives trip and test it out there in the crystal clear waters of the Maldives. Now, to be fair, I didn't buy this lens with my own money. As I said, I was uh, given this lens by Dive Fork to uh, test it out and to make this review here. This is not a sponsored video though. I'm not getting paid by Dive Fork to make this video and they don't have any saying in what I share with you today and all the opinions mentioned in this video or expressed in this video here today are my personal opinions. Having said this, let's get into the structure of today's video. We'll have three sections. As usual with these review videos, we'll talk about the um, features of this specific lens first. Then we'll go into the pros and the cons of the lens. And last but not least, I will um, also share my opinions on who I think this lens is made for and who will benefit most from using this um, close up wet lens. Dyfog's newest lens is a plus 15 diopter close-up wet lens that you can attach to the uh, filter system, the filter arm on your underwater smartphone housing, the Dyfog C-Touch 4 Max. Now it comes with a 67 millimeter thread, meaning that you can also attach it to other housings that have the same, uh, the same attachment, but I can't really say how well it will work optically on other housings and with other systems because I haven't tried it out with any other systems than the Dive Fork C-Touch 4 Max underwater smartphone housing and my iPhone 14 Pro Max inside of it. It is made primarily of polycarbonate. There is some parts that I made out of um, aluminum, but most of the, um, most of the uh, lens is made from polycarbonate, obviously apart from the lens elements. It is waterproof down to 60 meters and it only weighs 10 grams underwater. So you only get 10 grams of negative buoyancy by attaching this lens to your system, which is actually really, really cool. Um, it has minimal focusing distance of just a couple of millimeters in front of the lens element, which is great if you want to get really, really close to certain object and with the plus 15 diopter, um, it will make it possible to really blow up your object and get it very, very dominant and big inside your frame. The cost for this lens is 120 US dollars, which is actually quite reasonable for a macro wet lens. Moving on to the pros and the cons. And if we look at the pros of this lens first, we definitely can say that it is a very compact, lightweight um, and small lens. So it's actually really good for traveling. Also, the magnification that you can achieve with this lens is quite incredible. And the price, I really need to put that into the pro section as well, I find very, very reasonable. 
On the negative side, we need to put that the uh, lens has an incredibly shallow depth of field. Some of you might think that this is a good thing, but imagine if you're trying to get the focus on the right spot of your object, and if your object is just slightly moving or you are moving with the camera, it's gonna be incredibly difficult to get that uh, focus in the right spot. Your object is gonna um, come in and go out of focus all the time, and that can be very, very frustrating. I highly suggest using a tripod whenever you use this lens. And I would actually like the possibility of being able to use this lens without always having to use a tripod. I mean, it's no big deal. Most of us will always use, or most of the time, use a tripod when filming macro, but nevertheless, it would be nice to be able to use this lens and shoot some macro stuff without needing a tripod. Sometimes a tripod is also not very practical if your object is not close to the ground and you can't really use a tripod. But that is not really an option with this lens in my opinion. And lastly, a negative uh, that I want to mention here is that the optical performance of the lens is not always great. And I couldn't really figure out why. Sometimes it was giving me quite good results, but sometimes it seemed like there was something really weird happening with the blurriness in the background. And also I had some sort of weird distortions uh, around the corners from time to time. Not in every shot and not in every situation, but it happened just from time to time. And it was kind of a lottery. Sometimes it would work fine, and sometimes I would have a lot of problem getting a nice looking image with this lens. The solution here is, which I only just found out after coming back to Switzerland and doing more testing in our lakes, to not use the one-time lens on the iPhone 14 Pro, but rather the times two and the times three lens, which will give you much better results. So who is this lens for? Well, if you are an ambitious underwater macro videographer, I don't think you're gonna get very happy with this lens. But on the other hand, if you are just starting off with underwater macro videography and you, you wanna learn and you wanna practice and at the same time you don't wanna spend too much money on a new macro lens, then I think that this could be a really good match for you. So there you have it, my uh, thoughts and my first quick review of the dive fork plus 15 diopter underwater close up wet lens. Um, if you think that this lens is a good pick for you and ticks a lot of the boxes for you, then feel free to use the link down in the video description below, which will give you an extra 6% discount if you use that link to purchase this lens through the Dievog website. Thank you very much to the people at Dievog for offering this extra discount to my viewership here. Hopefully this video was useful to you and I was able to give you some information about this lens. And if that's the case, then please do not forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing so you're not missing out on any future content that will be uploaded here, whether that is reviews or any of my other content that I publish regularly here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for your time and for watching. Should there be any questions regarding this lens, feel free to put them down in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get back to you as quickly as I can. Until next time, keep capturing your awesome underwater adventures and I will see you next Tuesday.